Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, right now, we've got the Dow trading off 76. S&P is down 5. We're going to go out to Newport Beach, California, and speak with uh, Garo. Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. How about you, sir? Very good. Thank you so much for asking. And uh, today, you want to talk about the uh, Vanek Vectors Oil Services ETF. Right now, trading out at 28.35. Why don't you uh, share with folks uh, how it is that uh, I can help you? Um, according to what you said about a minute ago regarding the oil that's going to drop to another uh, $7, $8 on the, on the downside, yes. uh, what, what do you think that uh, OIH, uh, how much do you think the OIH will drop down to? I would um, I would use the price point right now of 26.79. Now here I'm going to put the same chart in essence that I was using for the XLE. Now the XLE, um, you know, has given us a a little bit better of a bearish reversal signal. You know, as of 1:30 in the afternoon on Thursday. Again, it just depends on tomorrow's close and what that candle looks like, uh, because that was a key reversal session where the previous week's high previous week's low has been exceeded and it's also a bearish reversal candle um, here we just have a dark cloud cover uh, and so for some reason the OIH isn't as bearish so to speak um, as the XLE the energy sector um, because even when I take a look at this weekly time frame chart up here you know yeah it's come back to a resistance area getting back to January 19th. But to answer your question specifically, Garo, is if this is going to follow along as the energy sector, my red line is the number I would first use, which is 26.79. Then I'd come over uh, with you and take a look at uh, your time frame chart or your, your chart here, which uses the parabolic SAR system. But if I put this on a weekly time frame, because I was looking at a weekly chart, uh, this is yes. still in the uh, bullish uh, mode out here with prices yes. coming and testing your five week, in this case here, simple moving average. But you were calling about the, were you calling about the OIH because of my comment about XLE or for something else that you were, or another reason and, that you were looking at when you looked at the charts? You know, regarding XLE, uh, XLE uh, actually is, is a combination of uh, eight or nine oil companies. Uh, the big giants. True, true, true. Uh, but OIH is somehow is related to the crude. You see, if the, if crude is going to go down, it's going to affect on OIH too, right? Yeah. And, and today, on a daily basis, you've got your uh, first, um, you know, reversal from your parabolic SAR system on a daily time frame chart. And yes, so that, that is true. Yeah. So that being the case, what are you looking at on this, or how would you look at this chart? I do, I, I, to me, it's going to go up to the, the weekly chart. It's going to go up to 200-day moving average, which is 31.10. And yes. then it's going to reverse down. Got it. Okay. On the weekly. You see, how about that, the, that how is, about that's daily? my translation. Because I have three dots at the bottom, which it happened three days ago. It got three pulled. Ago. Three weeks ago. Uh, on, on a weekly chart. You yes, see? Yes, yes. So, I think it has room to go higher before it rolls down. Maybe I, I can be wrong. I sure, can be sure, wrong. Sure. But the way that it shows is, is like so. It may roll down tomorrow, you see, without going to hit that 3110 or in that yeah. neighborhood. So, so how do you, so this is a great question, because the weekly part chart, as, as we both say, using certainly the parabolic SAR system, you know, is still, is still bullish. Yet on the daily time frame today, you've got a flip to potentially the, the bear side, or at least a pullback. So how do you reconcile that? <clears throat> to me, the daily chart, uh, it is, uh, the, is uh, the first dot went up today. Yes. You see, it hit the 21 days. The candle hit the 21 day, and the dot was there, so the dot went up. But yes. to, me, uh, to me, it sounds like that was a consolidation. It is not a, it's not a bearish sign. It just uh, corrected itself, and uh, f from here, it, it's on the way up. Sure. Because sure, sure. this happened the same thing around uh, in, in by beginning of May, that it came and it hit that 21 day, and we had four dots at the top, 
which was uh, started at the beginning of May, uh, yes. the, and then the last candle was uh, hit on 21 day was 8th of May, and uh, from that day it just bounced up and it went up. Absolutely, and 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 I can see it. Even if I look at my other charts out here, you know, I can see exactly what it is that you're saying. It's just that on a weekly basis, and the week does not end till tomorrow. We're back yes, up yes. to resistance levels where the XLE, just looking at the XLE, where it's failed before. And the way that the markets form tops, these early warning signals, and just as you pointed out, look, this pattern works amazingly well, but it also fails. Um, but at this stage here, it works so well that right now this is telling me that that stretched market inside the energy sector is getting ready to pull back. I wouldn't exactly consider uh, this to be anything substantial, going from 60s to basically 80, and right now only pulling back three more bucks to 73, 78, as an example out here. So uh, that's what I see at this stage, and it can still accomplish both things. It can pull back and then just simply move higher. Same thing with the OIH out here, although it is the... XLE, that is the chart that has the more bearish pattern. And as you pointed out, you know, pretty much consolidated into eight or nine companies. Really, the top three or four is over 50% of the weighting inside of the energy sector out here, whereas the OIH has got many more components inside of it. So it's the energy sector, the XLE, that has the more bearish pattern to me versus the OIH. Yes, that is true. The daily chart of XLE is very, very similar. The pattern? It is, yeah. With, with OIH, you see, in XLE, we have the first dot up today, you see? Yeah. But the weekly chart on, on, on XLE is much better than OIH because yeah. the candles are all the way above the uh, all moving averages. You see, sure, sure. When no, I do. I do. No yeah, moving yeah. average on top of it. That means that there aren't very many shorts there. If it's a short, yeah. it's a very temporary short. The main shorts are out when uh, when the candle uh, released and it shoot that at five day it shoot up on the the, the two hundred day, <clears throat> which was uh, on uh, the fourth of twenty third of twenty third of uh, January, March, April. Right. 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 Yeah, no, I see that. I see that. You see, I see that. Yeah, we're, 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 we're just uh, orchestrating or translating things on different patterns. I mean, um, uh, to me, those 200 days is so important. Um, even, though, even though about a few, few weeks ago, uh, uh, before, on January the 29th, the same pattern happened, but it failed. You see, the candles went all above the all moving averages, but again, it just dropped down all the way to sixty-four dollars. Sure, sure. From seventy-eight dollars. You see, this may happen again too. It uh, may. Nobody and that's why, nobody that's why I say yeah. sure. That's why I say a three-dollar pullback in the XLE. It's really not that big of a deal. Hey, Garo, we're headed to a break here right now. You're welcome to hang yes. on, and we can go take a look at anything that you'd like as well. If not, uh, thanks so much for calling. Thank you, uh, Thank you so much. Bye-bye.